Fedor Butochniko wrote, another highly inaccurate pro-China propaganda channel. Hello everyone, my name is Adu and this is Ready Go Expat. So one of the best things about making videos here on YouTube is the feedback I get from you, the viewers of the channel. And most of this feedback come in the comments section. I try to read all of the comments, I actually read all of the comments and I try to reply to all of them as well, you know? So if you have an opinion about a video, if you liked or you didn't like a video, leave a comment below always in, when you watch a video. Just don't be disrespectful to me or to some of my friends who are in my videos. So in this video, I decided to read some of these comments and reply to them here. Ready? Go. So Question World Matrix wrote, I find it absurd that there is even a video of a Chinese supermarket as if it's an oddity. Well, I try to make the video of the Chinese supermarket because I want people, when, before they move to China, to see what kind of products there are in the supermarket and what could they buy or what maybe sh they should bring from their country or what they should actually buy online because it's easier than finding a supermarket. Um, when, I, when I was looking for videos about China back in 2013, 2014, there weren't many videos in the supermarket, for example, but today, yeah, there are like tons of videos uh, inside Chinese supermarkets. So it's, it, it was a way that I found to like help people who have never been to China but are planning to move here. Uh, Bob Jones wrote, many move be there because they're on the run from something back in their own country. Well, I don't know about that, but um, I know I actually met two people who were on the run from a problem in their country. But yeah, this, that was in the video about moving to China. Why do people move to China? And yeah, there are a lot, lot of different reasons. And I think the biggest one is because there's so many opportunities here in China um, for foreigners to work and study and live. Busy man wrote, I find Chinese much easier than Thai or Japanese. The tones are easy for me, possibly because of my background in music. And they only have one word for you and I. Japanese has seven different words for I depending on the usage, the gender of the speaker. In Mandarin, there's basically only you, ni, and I, wo, um, we, tamen, yes. So um, he's talking about the language because I said how difficult it was for me to learn Chinese. Um, it is true that um, the Chinese grammar is actually very simple. What is difficult, at least for me, when I was trying to learn Chinese, were the tones. And also, uh, yeah, to get the right pronunciation and the tones, I think that was the most difficult part. But yeah, I don't know anything about uh, Japanese, so it's good to know that. Um, Rain Crow wrote, if you live in Jiangxi, it's not surprising that you find the food to be too spicy. Sichuan food spiciness is virtually nothing compared to that of Jiangxi. So it's just a matter of locality. If anyone visits Fujian province, for example, it's actually quite difficult to find any real spicy food at all. Well, I know that Sichuan cuisine is extremely spicy. I've tried that uh, in China, but I've also lived in two different parts of the country, in the north and the south, and I've traveled quite a bit. I know there are different cuisines around the country, but I do think that the general Chinese food is spicy, but that's for me, from where I come from. In Brazil, the food, uh, the general food, the main food is not spicy at all. You know, if you want spicy food, you need to ask for that, or you get perhaps Indian food or Mexican food. So it's just my personal opinion about it. I'm not, I'm not saying anything about like the, the taste of the food. I love Chinese food, but I usually had to say bula, which means not spicy, or idian dian la, when I was getting my barbecue, for example. Gaga, on the video about what surprised you about China, wrote, China is still so underdeveloped, the cities are crumbling, and the Chinese are always hungry. <laughs> Starvation is everywhere. The scenes show here are fake and done with blue screens. These actors are well paid by the communists. How do I know? I watch Fox News every day, and Fox only reports the absolute truths. Well, Gaga, I don't know, uh, I don't watch news in general because I think mainstream media is um, negative about other countries in general, not only China. Um, so I don't watch that. I know you're joking about that, uh, but yeah, it's true. Every time I would watch uh, stuff about China, they were either talking about a natural disaster like flooding or earthquake or, you know, some kind of issues. But, um, but that's, I think, mainstream media. I haven't watched mainstream media um, in quite, yeah, in a long time, I think now. So, yeah. Fedor Butochniko wrote, another highly inaccurate pro-China propaganda channel. I get these comments more than more often than you think. Um, it's 
it's just because um, in the videos I, I, I talk about China and, and stuff and then I think any channel that talks positively about China, they think uh, we're sponsored by, you know, whatever, uh, government or company or, or something. Um, listen, I'm not sponsored at all. I don't get much money out of this channel, like to be very honest, you know, I'm not a big channel. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm talking, I'm telling the truth here and the, all the people I interviewed are telling the truth. So if you think we're sponsored by anything, then it's your problem. But if you want to sponsor the channel, maybe I should give you, I should create a Patreon account. That's, that's actually a good idea. Thanks. Trevor Granger said, great videos. My girlfriend lives in Foshan. I am considering moving to China and teaching English as well. I'm from Canada and I love such a beautiful country. Any advice for where to get started for a work visa? Well, um, as you probably know, the work visa is a Z visa, okay? And yes, to come to China, you cannot, you cannot come on a tourist or a business visa. So first of all, you should apply for a good school, um, look for it online, apply for the job online. You're gonna have the interview. And then when you get, when you pass the interview and everything, they're gonna send you the documents and then you can apply for the work visa in your country, not in China, okay? Brennan Koff says, would it be possible for you to post a video of all your footage show all the replies that were too boring or controversial to be shown in this edited one. So he's talking about the videos that are usually posted with expats in China talking about the country, but of course I edited them. I just think that the format here on YouTube, at least for me, it's I want, I want them to be like six to 15 minutes long, let's say most of the videos. Okay, so I don't want, I didn't want to have like the whole um, interview and everything just just because it's you know YouTube and and that's the way I see YouTube but if you want to listen to long conversations long talks with expats not only in China but in different countries in the world you should check my podcast called expats exposed okay so it's in all major platforms Spotify Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, anchor and there yes I have honest conversations there's barely no editing with expats all over the world Xiao Hong Lu says, the huge shock is that the foreigners are so well treated in China, but not in the same way that the Chinese are treated in many Western countries. That's really weird. Well, Xiao Hong Lu, I, I, I'm sorry about like the, the way the Chinese are treated in some other countries when they go abroad. I cannot speak for that. Um, I was extremely well treated when I was in China and my friends as well. You can see that in the video, uh, in the videos that I post here. Uh, but about the Chinese abroad, I actually made a video with five students who moved to the U.S. to study and they talked about their first impressions living in the U.S. So you can check it here um, and see what they say about how they were treated there in the U.S. Nikolai Ravn says, how can you work in China as an English teacher if you're from Brazil? Excellent question. That's, also, that's really, really good. And that's true. Like the, It's a serious issue now with the, uh, the countries that are eligible to get a work visa in China. I'm no longer in China, okay? So um, I'm, I, I left China in the beginning of 2020, but um, I, am, I am making a series of videos about teaching English in China and teaching in general in China. So make sure like to, to subscribe to this channel and I'm gonna be posting this series um, in January 2021, all right? So check out the series and I'm going to explain exactly what you said here. Thanks for the question. F. Liu says, my God, where did they find all these actors telling people what China is really like? They must all got paid well by the CCP, I guess. Again, it's a, it's a comment that I get a lot. I'm, I know she's joking here, but it's the comment that I, I hope she's joking, isn't she? I hope she is. But it's the comment that I get a lot, you know? Next. Andra Ferrer says, great video, just subscribed. I'm going to get my medical degree soon and I really want to spend some time just going around countries while working with telemedicine. So this is, a, uh, this is the video about the 10 best European cities for digital nomads. This is actually becoming quite common, you know, working remotely, you know, and then you have the digital nomads. So in this video, I talked about the best European cities. I'm also making other videos um, talking about different cities in the world where it's really popular among, among digital nomads. Um, I actually had this year, the first time I, I had a doctor's appointment online. So it's getting really, really popular. Chung Hao Li 
says, as a local Chinese, I get all my stuff from the internet. I haven't been to a supermarket for a long time, LOL, just too lazy. Yes, I have many Chinese friends who do the same thing. They don't, they don't like going to the supermarket. They just think it's super practical and easy and fast to get uh, products delivered at uh, home. So they just get the, um, just use the apps and that's how they go shopping. I like to go to the supermarket because, you know, as a foreigner, like when you go to a different country, I love going to the supermarket because I can see like all these kinds of products, where they are, and even like try different things that I probably don't know. So I use my translator and I buy, sometimes I buy different products as well. So I, I love doing that. But yeah, a lot of my Chinese friends do the same thing. Sina Nobakti wrote, as far as I know, many people leave Mexico to go to work in the US, but the US is not in the list. I doubt these rankings are true. This was the list of the 10 best countries for experts in 2020. Um, I replied to this comment and I told her, this list is based on a survey done by International Living Magazine. They do it every year. They interview expats who are, you know, all over the globe. And in this list, they got the top 65 countries for expats based on the interviews they had with these expats. And yeah, the, the, the US is in this list of the top 60, but it didn't make it to the top 10. So um, I actually uh, wrote the link there for her to check the, the whole survey if she wants to read why. Wei Jung wrote, by the way, Avery from the USA is a pretty lady. I agree with you. She's beautiful inside and outside. Um, I, I miss her and I really miss her, her husband as well, Benji, who is a really good friend of mine. But I hope that in 2021, I'll be able to, to see them both. VZL. I was surprised by the amount of people at parks in the evening and after dinner. People always just come out to, to move around, walk activities, workout, group, dances. Uh, that surprised me the most. I had seen children from like six or seven to six or seven dancing in sync. This is so true. Like I was also surprised every time I would like after dinner or just before dinner, I would, you know, walk around the city and there's so many people outside always exercise and you see, you know, as he said here, like old and young people all around, babies, kids. So that's something that also really, really surprised me here in China. It's like they have dinner early and then they leave their house to, you know, move a bit. And that's it. That was the last comment. So guys, <laughs> I'm going to ask you, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. But it's true. I love reading your comments. And yeah, just leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, this first year of the channel and what do you want to see more and, and what you liked what you didn't like all right thanks so much and I'll see you next time